Minecraft Mentor here and today we're going to be showing you how to build this automated tree farm from Botania. So what we're going to need to do is start off by placing a mana pool like this, a pulse mana spreader next to it, then above the mana pool itself we're just going to place a mana prism and we've got to grab our uh, phantom lenses here. So you're going to put a phantom lens on the mana prism, you're also going to place one on the mana spreader itself. Above the prism, you just want to place down a piece of coarse dirt. We're going to do a building block out. And I've got this over here just so I can kind of use it as a reference because there is a lot to do here. So I'm going to grab a couple repeaters, pass it through there. So whenever a tree grows, it's going to give off a signal. Then we're going to build up from that. And uh, let's grab our torch again. Put a torch on each side of this block and then get your building block back. Come over like so and then place down a sticky piston. So it's basically going to pull the dirt out as the tree is being chopped down and allow the signal or the mana to pass through down into this mana pool and be used up again. So if there's anything left from the previous uh, thing, previous action, it's going to use it back up again. All right, from here, we want to uh, put another building block on top of your piston and next to it. So that signal comes through and we're going to put this one on max tick next or redstone little piece of redstone dust there extends your piston out I gotta go grab our dropper that doesn't need to be there actually but um, place down your next hopper or yeah yeah okay full signal also and then dropper facing down from here we need a hopper and a chest so hopper on top chest with an item frame on it see if we got our item frame now okay so chest is going to face forward then we're going to place down mycelium what that does to a hopper hawk is actually delays the process of it working so if we have a hopper hawk uh let's put that down further right here if you have a hopper hawk placed on top of mycelium or podzol it it delays the amount of time it takes for that uh particular hopper hawk to pick up an item next we need our item frames and you're going to place that on the side of here and then put a sapling in it. So it tells the hopper hawk to only put saplings inside this chest. So let's just throw a few in there. That's going to allow the hopper eventually to uh, put those into the dropper. But let's toss a couple in here just to fill it up. All right, so that part is done. Next, we need a place for your wood to go once it's been uh, harvested. So same thing, we're just going to do a chest and that there and then we grab our oak logs which we're using oak trees and finally i'm going to use a floating hopper hawk here and that'll pick up any of the wood that is harvested from this little setup here next we want to test this thing out so if we put a sapling well actually we shouldn't do that just yet Let's get rid of some inventory space. Let's grab our coarse dirt here and go directly below this. We're going to dig down a couple, put down your coarse dirt. Then you're going to put down regular grass or anything like that and grab our ran and carpus flower. Now anything, if I got this in the right spot, yeah. Okay. Anything that's put near the ran and carpus, it's going to teleport that item and plant it if it's placeable on whatever block is below it. So placing the course block a couple blocks below this one is going to tell this thing, hey, pick up that sapling and plant it on here. And normally this hopper hawk would pick up the sapling, but it's got this little delay action going on. So that works out pretty well. From here, we need to build up eight or nine blocks. I'm going to go nine. So one, two, oops, what were we on? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now on this, we need a mana pool and we also need a regular spreader. So let's go grab a mana pool. Now the mana pool is basically gonna catch the pulse that's going up and redirect it to make it go down. So we can get rid of all this dirt and put it in a regular mana spreader right here and then next to it facing down. And finally, we need our bore lens, which this thing is just going to literally bore through the wood as uh, every time a tree grows. 
So if we did everything right, we should be able to, well, actually one more step. I forgot about this one, this little guy, the munch do. This one's gonna uh, create mana off of the leaves and then it's going to send it back to you so you can use that to uh, restore some of the mana that's lost during this process. Now this one does take a mana tablet to get started. So grab yourself a mana tablet, hopefully, we didn't go too fast with this tutorial and you got everything down. If you didn't follow it all, it's okay to pause it and kind of look everything over, check it out so you can do it again. But once this gets enough mana in the pool, we can actually bone meal this and it will grow the tree, knock it down. The much dew is going to eat all the leaves for us. I think that should be enough or plenty for now, but let's just grow a tree and see if this thing works. So as soon as it grew, automatically did all its stuff. It's eating the leaves, but if you notice, it didn't destroy the wood. Now that means we've messed something up and we did. We forgot one of the key parts here. As you can see this little guy right here. Need a torch too. This actually tells the pulse spreader to shoot a signal out. So we just build up, actually get rid of that. Put a redstone dust here. So when this turns on, it turns that on, which in turn shuts this off. And then we run the signal just like so. That is finally going to send the signal up, which is going to send it back down, break the wood, put the dirt back. And also, if we did the rest right, oops. Oh, we had a piece of coarse dirt over here. It wouldn't have done that if we didn't have the coarse dirt hanging out, but uh, it would have planted it on top of the sapling. So let's try that again, just to, just to prove it does work. <laughs> We got our pulse going up, pulse going down, breaks the wood. That's back. Pumped out our sapling, planted it, and we're all set for the next tree to grow. And the leaves are staying up there because the munch dude does have a five minute timer or a five minute cooldown. So there you go. There is your uh, automated tree farm. And you can see sometimes saplings will fall. That's okay because it's going to deposit them right back into this thing. But that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.